watching Edipedia World videos. This is the second video of uh, Pick and Pack Manager. You can also see the first video of Pick and Pack Manager. We'll learn in this uh, video about the benefits of the Pick and Pack Manager. We'll see how the partial delivery can be done within SAP Business One. Now you can see that the Pick and Pack Manager is a part of inventory module. Whereas we are doing stuffs of the sales through this pick and pack manager. Now in a real scenario what the implementation people will do, they will ask the company who is the salesperson and who will be appropriate user for this pick and pack manager. What they will do, they will use the user authorization within SAP Business One and then they may create a my menu for that user or they may directly give that user and access to this pick and pack folder here. Generally in, in a typical implementation scenario there will be different people using different modules. Let's start with the benefits of pick and pack manager. Companies can use pick list to collect goods for production and inventory transfer improving efficiency throughout the supplier process. Pick and pack manager brings an ease of inventory transfer and then production issue for batch of documents can be done and that saves time. Now you can also create quickly the pick list for a specific document and that means more streamlined and accurate process. What the pick and pack manager will have will be this thing that there will be a set of documents there will be plenty of or uh, several items that will be in those documents the pick and pack manager gives a good view where your item is, in which warehouse it is and in how much quantity it is. And thereby pick and pack manager makes it very easy for shipping your goods or creating uh, invoices or uh, doing inventory transfers as well. This is the business partner uh, that we will be using today. Let's just see about the setting. This is the setting that we will require today that says that allow partial delivery of sales order, allow partial delivery per row. Now allow partial delivery of sales order means that if the total item of the sales order is say 100, then the system will allow you to ship 75 of those items. Allow partial delivery per row means that if there are three items and if I want to ship any of the three items in uh, less than the mentioned quantity then the system will allow you to deliver those quantities. This is the pick and pack manager window. Now there is a status you can manage your uh, search criteria. There are other search criteria that is given. You can see which warehouse do you want to search within. We'll start our pick and pack manager by selecting the open status. When I say OK, this is the window that I get. These many are the sales order that are into my system and they are in open status. Now you can see that I am having this technosis. There are three lines of this 362 sales order. The reason behind these three lines is this thing that we have three items in that sales order that is PC set 1, PC set 2 and T1200 laser series. Let me just zoom it. You can see here that the sales order is 362 to itself. This is my business partner and these are the items that I have and you can see the document row that it is telling. For now I have selected only the 55th line item or line and uh, that is my T1200 laser series. We will take this item and we will ship it. When you press on the pick list or rather a release to pick, this is the window that you get. 
you have to press on this menu item this is the wizard that will uh, that the system will take you through this we have already seen in our first video so I'll just make it quick you can see here that there is this document number there is this pick number and all the information has been copied to the release now earlier we were in open folder or open drawer of the pick and pack manager now we are into a release drawer of pick and pack manager what I can do I can either right click on this thing or I can directly say create a manual delivery let us right click on this pick number 3 that is here what it will do it will open a window where I will mention the items the quantity of the items that I have to pick this is the pick list that is there you can see that the pick list number is 3 my date is there the order number 362 is there this is my item T1200 laser series and here I can mention my quantity that I want to pick you can see that here available to pick that means that at most you can pick 66 quantities but our document requires only five of them so we'll just pick as much as are required we are again on our release drawer of pick and pack manager what I'll do I can either create a manual delivery I can either do an automatic delivery manual invoice inventory transfer inventory issue for production receipt from production for this video I have done a manual delivery now when I have done a manual delivery, when you will come to the open folder of pick and pack manager we can see that the 55th line of this pick and pack manager that was my T1200 laser series is no more here the reason is because we have already released that order to the pick list and that has been delivered this is my delivery you can see that there is a serial number selection that the system is asking me the reason is this thing that uh, this is the serial tracked item what I can do I can simply go and uh, I can simply click on this auto select what it will do it will create auto lot for me or auto uh, generate these a selection of these serial number and I can simply update them or either way will be I have to manually click on this item and then I can just uh, say I want to select this A6 uh, 000288 serial number and then 289 so I can manually select them either way you can do again we are on our sales order now what we can see is this thing that our T1200 laser series has been shipped and that's why this line is grayed out you can see that the pick status is N what we can do is we can repeat the same process for PC set 1 and PC set 2 in other scenario what you can do you can also take a partial quantity here what I had done earlier was this thing that I have taken the full quantity of 5 but what you can do is you can take either 7 or uh, 4 or any quantity here and the system will let you do so that's all for this video thank you